Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's Occasional Series of YouTube Tutorials in MATLAB. Today we're looking at a simple implementation of a convolution neural network for image classification. Just to give full attribution for the intellectual property, the code, or 99.9% .9 of it, came from here. And just the most important thing here, that you need three toolboxes. The neural network toolbox, the statistics toolbox, and the machine learning toolbox. And you also ideally need a GPU. It will work with a CPU, but the number of layers uh, you would be able to implement would be considerably reduced and also it would be much slower with a CPU. There's my table of contents. I won't go through it because it won't delay too much. So tidy up our workspace. Uh, Caltech 101 is the data set that we used. I've already uh, downloaded that uh, here and on my machine I have my root folder on dry D. Okay. So we're going in three categories. We're using an image data store. This reduces the RAM overhead. So that we keep a snapshot of it on the hard disk rather than actually loading it into RAM. There's our table. We've got a count of each. We've got to make it so that there's 67 of each because 67 is the minimum of the three categories. We pick up the 67 there. Then we randomize it with the 67 because you know from statistically you know you sub you select your subset randomly in case of any bias there's our count again 67 of them all we're just going to give an example of each of the categories here and then we're going to display it in a subplot there we are there's our pre-trained AlexNet if you want, you can look at the architecture. There's 25 layers. We can look at different layers. There's the first layer. That would be the sort of the least refined one. The last layer. The number of um, class names, a thousand. Now, just to slow down here a little bit, uh, when you're reading in your test data, your to test the convolution neural network, it has to be the right size. So you have to declare a function. Well, our, our MATLAB called it read and process image. And if I just go to here, there's the function so you would need to put that function, uh, cut and paste that. Uh, function and stores on the relevant path and the key line here is there that's to resize it so that your image the image that you're going to do the final test or the testing is 227 by 227 remember that's what Caltech did so we have a training set and a test set and we're going to say 30% the training and the 70% is for the validation. You can look at the weights. You can look at the convolutional. There's the first layer weights in a montage. We're going to uh, use the support vector machine classifier. There's the command there. We're going to evaluate the classifier by these commands here. This is the statistics and machine learning toolbox kicking in. We're going to get a confusion matrix, etc. So it's perfect here. And this answer here, it's saying we'll get, we've got a 100% efficiency on the test set now when i ran this a few minutes ago 
we got 97 percent so it'll vary for from whatever 70 30 split you took but the worst i got was 97 and several times i got 100 percent uh perfect fit we're going to try it on a sample image and we've taken it image 690 so we read and post the image just to check that it is 227 by 227 there we are extract the image features make a prediction and the prediction is an airplane hope that helps a little thanks very much for listening bye